Central bank, this is the Federal Reserve's balance sheet. Why am I showing you this? Because this has as much of an impact as all the spending that they're doing. Now, what are these lines? Okay, first if you see from 2002, and you could take this back decades, it's always kind of been a consistent line, largely made up of the red line, which are U.S. Treasuries. That's how the Federal Reserve managed their balance sheet. Then all of a sudden, you had this huge spike up. That was at, uh, in 2008, end of 2007, 2008, during the Great Financial Recession. The Federal Reserve came in and started buying more treasuries, but they also started buying MBS and really expanding that. So their total assets, because they were trying to repair the housing market. Then they kind of tapered it off in 2011, 2012. The economy wasn't growing enough for them, so they jammed more money. And they eventually grew their balance sheet to about $4.6 trillion. So they put basically $4 trillion over a stretch of period of years into the economy to liquefy the economy. Then they started taking it out in 2018. The equity markets had a big hissy fit, if you recall. And then they started growing it gradually. And then all of a sudden, COVID happened. Boom. They went off to the charts. Treasuries, mortgage-backed securities, their whole balance sheet just massively expanded. They sent $3 trillion last year into the capital markets and another trillion this year. 